Hello, everybody. My name is Doug Ming. I'm from 6B1 from Vince School of Harmony, and today I will be talking about leadership through the years. So basically, I will be talking about the, how the concept leadership has changed through my life. So it all started when I was in kindergarten watching a cartoon. At that time, um, I, was, I finished all my homework, so I watched a cartoon. So a character in the movie said, leader in Vietnamese. I didn't know what the word meant, so I asked my dad, who was sitting next to me and reading the news? I asked, dad, who is a leader? And then he replied, a leader is a person who has power, which means they have a high class or status. At that point, I did not care about the word because the cartoon to me was much more important. So I just followed the word at the back of my mind and continued watching. I did not realize how important it is now, up here, talking to you about leadership. The first time I needed to use the word leader was when I was six years old in year two, doing a play with everybody in year two, year one, and in kindergarten. It was called the Crystal Cave. Um, it sounded very good to us, but to the teachers and the parents, it sounded a little silly, but it was okay. In order for the play to go smoothly, we had to do a lot of things. For example, we had to memorize the songs, the lines, and the dance moves, which was really hard for us. So the teacher gave advice to us that we need to be confident when we're on stage, we should smile, and we should just try our best on the stage so that the play could go smoothly. That advice really helped us on stage, so the play went really smoothly. Now, a leader to me is a person who has power, which means they have a high class or status. And they also help other people to make what they're doing easier. When I was eight years old, I had to do a lot of group work, especially in art class, because we had to uh, draw a lot and also do a lot of posters and comic books. So when we, do it, when we, do group, when we are in a group, everything is bad because um, everybody has their own mind and they would just don't listen to other members. So it would come out as individual work, but not as a group work. So it was a total catastrophe. Then the teacher taught us that firstly, you need to collaborate with everybody in the group. Secondly, you need to have someone to listen to um, all, all the members and they, that they could come up with an idea that everybody likes. So the next week, we had the task to do board games. At that time, I was the leader of the group, so I thought of an idea and told my members about it. But they said that my idea was not good because it was not very um, good and there was no fun in it. And when, I, and when I asked about their ideas, they talked about board games that took too much time and also too much materials that we didn't have. So I persuaded them that if we win this competition, we could get a prize or a certificate at the end of the week. They listened to me and worked excellently. I also modified a little bit of my idea so that it can fit with everybody. Um, at the end, my team went second, which was not what I expected. Now, I learned that persuading for me is not too hard because I learned about persuasive writing when I was in the first month of year four. Now, a leader to me is a person who has power and help other people to make what they're doing easier, be a great listener, and also to come up with the idea to help other people. Now, in year six, leadership has changed a lot to me. It is not only a thing that I mentioned before, like having power, helping other people, or uh, be a great listener, or coming up with an idea. It is also about how you influence or inspire other people. For example, when I was watching a YouTube video, an ad popped up and it talked about a man. The story was that when he, when he was in his young 20s, his family was very poor and he had an idea to make a company. So he saved up his money for two or three years and then asked his parents about the idea when he had enough money. 
But to his surprise, his parents didn't believe him because they said that he didn't have enough money. He didn't learn a lot in school because his family is very poor. Or he doesn't have any experience in working so that everything would fail. But he didn't listen to his parents. He had to face him himself. And so he left and tried to do his dream. And he tried and tried and tried, and he succeeded. So the main idea of the video is that nothing is impossible and that it influence or inspire people who don't have faith in themselves. Um, I learned that everybody can learn leadership. It is not a thing that you inherit from your parents or you just have it when you're born. It is just that you need passion, perseverance, and experience to do it and learn it. So when I heard about the TEDx speech, I really wanted to participate so I learned more about leadership. So the first thing I did was ask my parents about it because they have a lot of experience in working and also listening to a lot of other public speeches or talking to other people on stage. The second thing I did was that searched up the phrase learn to lead on their internet so that it can help me through TEDx speech. When I looked through the websites, there was too much information and I couldn't handle all of it. So I asked my sister to help me filter out which one is necessary and which ones are not as needed as the other ones. And that really helped me to just keep the most important information. My cousin also told me that tech talks are a very good place to learn from leaders or from famous people because they have a lot of experience in working in their field or job. So learning from them is not a bad idea. Also, a lot of entrepreneurs influence young people to help them see who leaders are and more about their job. Or they can help you see from another perspective that, that it can improve your skills in a group work or in a company when you are a leader. Or they can also help you see that something not important to you is a life-changing moment to other people. For example, I watched a TED talk about a man that talked about how we see leaders are, that are people who are super powerful. But in his opinion, it is just somebody so too small that we don't expect it to be. So his experience was that um, in high school, he, he gave a lollipop to another person, and he thought it was just a simple task. But to the other person, it was a life-changing moment. I, now, a leader to me is a person who has power, which means they have a high class or status. Um, they can also help other people to make what they're doing easier and also be a great listener and um, be able to com combine all the ideas into one. They can also inspire or influence other people or um, help other people see from another perspective. Now, I will continue to learn leadership when I'm in high school or university. And to some people, leadership might seem very scary. But if you have the passion to help you learn, then nothing is going to stop you. Thank you.